Well, are there fewer commercial farmers in South Africa than there used to be? And is crime driving farmers off the land? Many, including Diane Kola Barnard, have made that claim. Professor Joachim Kirsten is the director of the Bureau of Economic Research at Stellenbosch. He joins us now with more on this. Professor, good evening to you. Firstly, how difficult is it to actually assess the sector? How difficult is it to know if the number of farmers is increasing or decreasing? I think the problem lies in the way that we collect the data in the agricultural census, you know, and I've been involved in these numbers for some time. The first uh, um, few years of uh, post the 1910 years, all the farmers were surveyed regularly. So if you go up to 1993, it's a comprehensive census of all farm units. But since 2007 or since 1994 and specifically in 2007 and 2017, we assess only those that are registered uh, as VAT paying and VAT active farmers. So the numbers get a bit confused. Obviously, up to 1993, only have white commercial farmers being recorded. And then post-1994, you have a mixed bag. And then also we have the community survey that gives us a sense of people that are active in agriculture. They're not necessarily commercial, but they're also subsistence. And therefore, the numbers get uh, a bit difficult to assess. We don't have a comprehensive farm register in the country, and that also complicates uh, the, the way that we count farm units and farm numbers. Okay, so it's a scrambled picture, but thankfully you're a professor of economics. What are we able to tell from it? I mean, what does the data actually say about the number of farmers? Yeah, if you, if you look at the uh, VAT register, um, the SARS business register for VAT paying f farm units, it, it oscillates around 40,000 farm units per year for the last 10 years. Um, but also interesting, if you go back to the 2007 census, it's 2000, it was also around 40,000, exact number, 39,996 farm units uh, registered for VAT, and that was included in the census. And 2017, it's again 40,122. But my assessment, taking the community household survey of 2016, and you look at the question, how many uh, farmers or farm units actually use agriculture as the primary source of income, which by definition they would be then classified as commercial farmers, then the number is considerably higher. We add another 108,000 to that number, so we get close to 150,000 farmers. So now we have a comprehensive picture of farmers using agriculture as a primary source of income, which basically means that they are commercial farmers, but then obviously we have a racial mix of black and white farmers included in that, in that picture. So it, it again complicates the issue if you go back the 20 years, 30 years, 40 years ago, then you have only white farmers assessed and now you have white, black and colored farmers, everybody included in the, in the list of farming enterprises. Are there other dynamics that affect the number of farms? I mean, are we seeing, for example, a process of consolidation? Someone would, you know, maybe be quite good at farming, buy up the farms in their area, or agribusinesses coming in and doing that, and so therefore spreading their risk and specialising in certain, certain crops as well? Yes, and that definitely happens. You know, the, the, the well-to-do farmers, they increase, they buy up the neighbouring farms, they increase in size, and they increase in turnover. So if you look at the latest results, only... 2,000 farms are um, recording a turnover above 22.5 million rand per annum. Now, that's not large in terms of the corporate businesses in the industrial or the retail sector, but that's classified in terms of the larger size of agriculture. For the rest, so it's almost 90% of the farms are below the threshold of large-scale enterprises. So, but it is these big ones, the 2,000 farmers in the top category, that are really driving the sector. They employ the most uh, um, workers. They have the biggest share of the total turnover. My assessment is around 67% of the total turnover is carried by those uh, 2,000 farms. So the reality is that they are the uh, well-to-do farmers. They are the larger ones. But all of the farmers, you know, which are small family-based farming operations, are all battling with uh, similar constraints. You know, it, it, there are risks facing them in terms of the climate, in terms of price and market, but in the current and modern day in South Africa, they're also hammered by the points that you raised in your introduction, the um, farm attacks, but also on-farm crimes, you know, the theft of cables, the theft of machinery, the theft of diesel, the theft of fencing, 
are all things that uh, affect farmers across the board. And, and those elements sometimes increase the production cost and, so, and, and could make farmers not profitable anymore. And then more and more that will go to the larger farmers that can afford to pay for security and, and uh, deal with the, uh, the community around them and make them including into the value chain. 